Sometimes I stay on this screen for a bit and ramble on. But sometimes I just want to get started with that awesome project. And I, I chat to you all anyway while making the game. I ramble about random things while doing it. So it kind of is a, a just chain stream and a game dev stream in one really sometimes. Okay, let's get going. Discord. Okay, right. Let's get up. Wow. Also, just in, I, I did read the thingamajigs, thingamajigs. I read your thingamajig, Akira, because we're working on Akira's character at the moment. Um, we did him yesterday. We spent the majority of the stream doing um, Akira's character, and he's here now at the bottom. Oh my goodness! Look at you all. Look all you adorable, adorable characters walking across. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god, son, Nina in the top 50. Can you believe you've like got 559 raindrops now? That's insane. Remember when you just had 500? It was like it was just yesterday. And hi, Rex, how are you doing? My little legion, I know, right? Yeah, look at you all. Even Cannon's here today. <laughs> yeah, it's a new thing we've introduced to the stream. It's only been uh, since, since last week, I think I added it. So, um,. Yeah, I think I like it a lot. I think it's cute to see you guys walking around. And, um, yes. So, where were we? Yeah, we were doing Akira's character sheet, guys. So, let's get that up now on graphic scale. I said I was going to finish it off stream, but I never got round to it. But I, I did read your character's backstory. Because Akira has a very detailed character. He is at... I believe you are, like... Are you do, are you writing an actual novel, Akira, on this character? So there's a there's a massive story behind it. Let's get graphics gallery. Where is it? It's hiding from me. Graphics gallery doesn't seem to want to appear today. It's hiding. Okay. Let's get it back up. There we go. So um. Legion, no, but SCP-5666 have a big backstory. Well, I read Legion's story, and um, I have kind of, we have yesterday, it, this is exactly the same as it was yesterday at the moment, but I've got Notepad up, and I've made a note of the what is your deepest, darkest secret. I've actually added more from your Word doc that you linked me. Um... And I wrote a paragraph. And I'm going to just paste it in chat Akira right now. And you let me know if that is correct. Or if this is if there's anything I need to change. Um, I basically just added more info. So um, people who read your character sheet. Can just get more of an understanding. Of the actual backstory with this guy. Just so nothing's too like, vague or confusing basically. So um, the, hang on. Where, where are we? Okay, here. So that is what I write. And everything else is... Uh... Right, well, I'm going to just... I'm going to just fill everything in now. If that's fine, I'm going to add that to the... To this one. Also, I'm going to... I'm going to completely redo it all. But we're going to have to make this a little bit bigger. Um... And large canvas because we need we're gonna need the space to fit it on within us. Good. Okay, so it's just that one word. Oh gosh, yeah. But within him, we're not meant to be writing in third person. Yep. There we go. Within us. So yeah, this guy he, he talks um, as himself as a group rather than an individual. So he uses a we and our instead of I. And my, which is really interesting. It's, it's an interesting quirk. Not a flaw, but um, we can't, I suppose it could be a flaw, but I think it's a quirk. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that, that will be enough. Actually, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Just in case. So today, we're just going to... Um, oh. We're just going to finish off Akira's character sheet. It's probably not going to take long. Um, probably about half hour. 
no longer than an hour for sure to get it done and then once we've done that we're going to move on to back to rpg maker and do, do some parallax mapping get all that finished and um tomorrow we'll do maybe do some mini maps maybe and put some more enemy sprites on the maps i, I want to get the everbloom forest 100 percent done and all the comp the parallax mapping done so we can really get started on the questing and the story and the battles things will really get exciting then okay so so also how was the store the story i i think it's really interesting and um i i'm looking forward to making this dark woods village in the game because i am it's going to make an appearance in raindrop chronicles i believe because of your character's backstory it's a good excuse to make a creepy type of forest anyway and i want to do a forest like that eat your enemies <laughs> And that look at that cute evil little dinosaur. Okay guys, right, I've gotta get that back. I accidentally did the action. I always did that, I always do it the wrong way around when I'm trying to enlarge the canvas. There we go. I think that's right. Just move the footer down to the bottom. We have a, a sort of patterned background. I like it. Shoot the enemies. <laughs> Yeah, Akira's a gunslinger. I bet you were so happy when you saw the gunslinger as a could be a class in the game. Of course it would be. I'm just going to rant put that there for now. Okay, so what is your biggest thought? This has to be two lines long, so... Move that there a sec. Okay. I've tried. I've edited the wording just a slight bit, just so. Um, because I feel feel like including the hour and the. the the um the hour and stuff is important too okay so um right i'm gonna just let, let it be messy for now and we'll get all the text in first and then we'll align it properly after so we need to make this area big because we've got a lot to put hi julian how you doing look at that look at red, at red the 13th that nanaki emote it's super cute. I was happy when I saw the good slicker class. Yay! And like I said, if, if there are any other classes that I may have missed out, um, let me know and I'll add it to the playable character form. Um, why what mentioned druid? And I so I added that for him because I think he wants to be a druid. One of the lies I want my character to spread to the players is that if you take the hat off the antagonist Rex, he turns into a human person. He draws his power from his hat. Oh my goodness. That would be wild. Because then that would mean that would change everything. Like instead of being this like reptile that feel feels his race are inferior. He's actually fight, fight the whole thing <laughs> i would turn everything on its head 
did you hear the legion voice i i actually didn't get time to listen to that because i i only just saw that when i was starting up stream akira but i'll have a little listen after i did see it just as i had my start starting sit soon screen up but yeah this game is going to be wild with some of the things that are going to happen and i know you're all going to have some amazing ideas um for the story over time but it's whatever wins the polls that will be where we take it but if say if like you 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 love your idea and it didn't win the poll you can always put it there again in the future in another poll <laughs> and maybe we'll win it next time home rex oh it's a sad emote julian it's a sad one i hope you're doing well julian I'm, I'm just i'm one of the things that excites me the most is seeing the characters get introduced to the story because we still at so far we don't really have anyone in the story i mean I, i've introduced my character but we haven't actually got her in it yet we haven't written the dialogue or or it but it'll be it'll be cool i'm just i'm just intrigued to know when you'll all be making your appearance um i've got an itchy neck because of this choker Now the biggest fear is light magic. Didn't really have to delete that one because it's all haven't changed it. Now this was all fine, wasn't it? It was just the typo at the end. Black Starving is a great name for a curse. So it's some um, like wait, this guy's got a backstory where there's a curse that uh, everybody's hungry. I would hate having that curse. I don't like being hungry. Feel like I should. I don't know whether to put that on a brand new line, but because there's kind of room for it. There's definitely not room for unfortunately. It looks weird having that much gap. I think Legion's really misunderstood Akira. I even misunderstood him at first. I thought he was going to eat my soul, but he, he's not like that. Oh, I think that's okay. Sometimes it's difficult. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same margin as that side, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I think it's it's close enough. Um, right, anything else we'd like to tell? And this was. I mean, we have mentioned he's a half demon there, but we'll mention it again because it it's the important info about the. 150 souls so and also he mentions the weapons he uses which we're gonna have to put in our weapon shop if the chat want to hear legion's voice why not if you can put it in the link for sure you can put it in chat if you want akira legion's voice the only reason i'm not is because uh well we've got music in the background and it'll clash but i, I will definitely listen to it after stream i'm imagining a dramatic scene where the hero hits the hat off and shouts got it and then rex will look and amuse and does his house saying what are you doing you fool 
<laughs> Guys, I, need, I want this dialogue. I want you to remember this dialogue. Because it'll come to a point where we're gonna we're gonna want an awesome conversation in the game. He's a fine demon. He's good, he is. <laughs> you guys ha you guys have it sorted, Rex and Silent. If my character is ever, ever has a dialogue conversation with Legion, she will claim to have one one hundred and fifty words inside her as well. Oh my goodness. That's really interesting because um Silent's character is a con woman. And she might she might try to con Legion. And Legion's such a sweetheart. He might look scary on the outside, but on the inside, he, he's a gentleman. Silence character will have lied about the hat, so I don't actually transform. <laughs> yeah. And it's all a lie, you know, this about Rex being a human. But Silence such a good con person that I believed it. I believed Rex was human. My God, I'm gullible. There we go. So all the text is in now. And I hope that's all good, Akira. Now's the time to say if there's anything that needs changing. Because um, we're going to tidy it up now. And once it's all tidied up, we've got rid of all these gaps. Um, we'll add your avatar and your sprites here. And we'll save it. And we'll put it on Twitter and on the Discord. Um, Kindled's, um, I've sent her a DM asking if hers is okay and once she confirms it's fine I'll put hers on Twitter as well. Here's Legion voice for your imagination only. I'm actually going to play it now because I want to hear it. Okay. Is it going to be loud? The music in the background is quiet at the moment, so we're okay. And I'm too lazy to press pause on it. Oh my god, this voice, Legion voice, actually really goes with this music in the background. <laughs> oh my god, it actually goes, guy. It's perfect. I like it. <laughs> The way Rose played along with that just now made me smile. <laughs> I'm just a goof, silent. I don't know what I'm even talking about most of the time. <laughs> you mean it's just a hat? Well, light magic is more a weakness, not to fear. I didn't really... You didn't know a good fear, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to answer the questions, but... Um, it's it's actually good to, to know this sort of information. I think Kindled ha had, had the same answer for her character. Um, except hers is holy magic, but holy and light, you know, they're in the same sort of... I've got to eat these now because apples go black. And they're horrible when they go black. Who, does anyone here like black apples? Because I don't. I I don't, I'm i not really hungry or in the mood for eating them, but like I said, I'll go black because so I've got no choice. We didn't hear it from the stream. Oh, you guys didn't hear? Must have not been on the, um, for some reason, must have not catched it. But I heard it and it really went with the background music. Who here likes the apples from the Shinigami round? Um, Ryuk, he likes them. They're okay. Apples are okay, but I think there's a bit even more awesome fruit out there. Better. 
Now you don't have to see my weird face. I'll put cam back on when I've had this apple. I'm not one for eating on stream. I'm really, I'm sorry if um, the no noise, is it annoying hearing me eat? Just want to know. That face was so funny. <laughs> I'm so full that I like I'm honestly really full at the moment I don't even want to eat the apple but like I said it got they go black within about a minute <laughs> it's not fun it's not annoying <laughs> good I know that my mic picks up sound quite easily like even mouse clicks and um my keyboard and I'd rather it didn't, but <laughs> what can you do? Okay. Um, I'm going to just check what the spacing I need is because I forgot. And I want all the couch sheets to be consistent. Okay. I found his biggest fear being alone or not being a not being able to belong somewhere. Do you want me to change that then, Akira? Because that, that'll be easy enough if you want me to do that. Um, okay, I'm coming back. Hi. Oh no, I put them on the wrong layer, but never mind. Okay. Being alone or not being able to belong somewhere. Which works because his goal is to be. Oh, <laughs> typo. Um, his goal is to belong somewhere, so that works. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I've de I definitely uh, did too much space this time, but it's better to do too much than too little.
I think it's 18 pixels. Yeah. Done. Just gotta crop this now and save it and then put it in Photoshop. I like this colour scheme, I think it's perfect for um, Legion. Okay, so that's saved now. Um, we'll open Photoshop. And we'll put his avatar in and stuff and oh my goodness another character sheet completed Ooh, i've got to catch up with chat oh my god i'm behind he has the villagers souls can he talk with them like in his head like the dad from fma which i assume is full metal alchemist it's the only thing I know that has those no it's the only soul energy that he collect not the personality of the village is gotcha at least they aren't hungry anymore by the way that's an excellent way to introduce the scan system of the enemies he collect an enemy soul and with this it can give information about the enemy not possible with bosses Ooh, yeah I need to remember any important information that might really fit with the character and things like skills and battles and that because um well that's going to be the bit i struggle with most i think because um it's not so much coming up with the skill ideas it's making them work because it involves maths but i'll i'll do it i'll learn good morning or evening depending on what side of the planet you're on hi richard how are you doing hope i'm having a good day I'm still thinking a Legion's theme song for now. It's Alter Bridge, wouldn't you rather? Yeah, I, I love how how like deep you think into this Akira. You're even giving him a theme song. It's mate. I mean, yeah. We're gonna obviously have a soundtrack in the game, and I, I found um, a soundtrack that is really good and very RPG style, and it's copyright free as well and it's really versatile and diverse it's a lot of there's loads of different there's like hundreds of tracks so i'm going to be using that um but because yeah i thought copyright free it's, it's safe but obviously you can give him a theme song I, I need to give rose a theme song i'll be picking one of the soundtracks Probably what we uh, we do when it comes to soundtracks and themes for characters, I'll probably listen to the soundtrack and grab a few and put up a poll and ask what one is most fitting, perhaps. Legion is really a metal style. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think definitely, yeah, I'll probably... I know I thought that we Carol the Barrel because we I've already got a theme tune for Carol the Barrel and there was like three and I thought which ones are gonna and I was nearly gonna put, put, put up a poll and ask you guys which was the best theme for Carol the Barrel but in the end I was really like I like I was really attached to a certain one so I just went with it and it worked oh my god I mentioned Carol the Barrel again I can think I've got some obsession with Carol the Barrel Maybe I have. Okay, where's this character sheet? It's hiding among all my files. Oh my goodness, where is it? I did save it. 
unless I didn't save it as a PNG, but I swear I did. There we go. What is this? This is a... You guys can't see it, but the wrong thing has copied and pasted. It would be funny if you could see it, but you can't. I'm gonna say because that ain't legion, whatever that was that copied and pasted. This is legion. Hey, why can't you guys sit? Hang on. On set, guys. There we go. That's better. Silly window capture. Also, what is... Oh, yeah. We need to change the mode. It's currently on index colour. That's why his colour looks all funny. Oops. <laughs> Let's go back to how it was before. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay. Hey, stop it. I've changed the mode to RGB colour. Behave. Behave now. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. He looks, he looks awesome in that square, doesn't he? I'm glad we have a dark character in the game because we haven't yet. This is like our first like dark themed character. Oopsie. <laughs> Help, but hi pouring. You don't need to keep doing that. It's actually got the command in the stream title. <laughs> I can't even read what that name is. Pouring. <laughs> okay, so let's get um Okay, we're gonna have to get a template in because uh we need to make sure we get it positioned properly. So we'll use Kindle trashes as a uh, as a template. Oh yes, um, Kindle didn't have the goal on hers, that's why it's not, but it doesn't matter. There we go, so I'm just going to use that as a template so we can get your um, characters in position. It's pouring hot tinny feathers, oh right, okay. I'm not very good, when the letters are together like that and they're not capital letters, I'm not very good at working out what it says. Forgive me. Very actionable. <laughs> and welcome to the stream now, Paul Ring. And yeah, um, project is the command, that's the important command here. But we also have a character command. If you're interested in ever becoming a character, that is what you need. <laughs> But yes, that link will just send you to all the links, social medias and FAQ and information page and stuff about the project. Knows what they want and how to get it. Oh no, I'm going to have to just lock that. So 
So we only need the middle one, so we'll just delete those at the side. He's he's camouflaging. I want to do a Legion cosplay now. I want those horns. I actually could, like, because Indian D, I'm a tiefling. I could cosplay my tiefling. But she has orange skin. So I have to paint myself or put bronzer on or something. There we go. He's all done. Oh no, I forgot I didn't I can't click cancel, I didn't save it. And we put him into stream avatars as well, so that's done. He's here walking across. Just use a bad faint tan, yeah, I'd have to. I wonder what I'd look like with orange skin. Never ever been, been orange before. You, your account got hijacked and you need to wait two months to change it? Oh no. What was your original username? Okay, so we can put this on social media right now on Twitter if you'd like, Akira. I don't see why not. He's all done. Um, we still got to put Kindles up, but I want to 100% make sure she's happy with it before we put hers up. So we'll be what we'll wait a bit on that one. Um, but so we've got the full one, but we also need to do a um, a, a version that isn't full as well. So we're gonna, oops. Just cross that off. Uh, let's have a look at Raindrop Chronicles Twitter. So yeah, for Silent and Lost, yeah, we we um, cropped it after this bit. So because the problem is, if you put the full character sheet on Twitter, it makes the quality rubbish, and you can't even see the image properly because it shrinks it if you make the length too long so what i do is i crop it and so people can see it but then put a link to the full character sheet on imager so um we can do that now that'll be good do you need my twitter name well yeah, yeah actually because i can at you then i like to at you guys you see can't believe it. I need to trim my bangs again for like the big gazillionth time this week. They, they grow like so fast. Why do I drop into streams at weird places? Was that a weird place? Was it Valiant? Well, you, you wouldn't mind because you've got weird in your name, right? So you approve. Look up. What, what, what do you mean look up? There's nothing weird. There's nothing weird going on here. Nothing at all. Read up. Let me look. Hang on. I need to catch up with chat anyway, so I'm a bit behind. So I do love character development and the most advanced of my character is SCP-5666. I took nearly a month to make it. Oh. Well, that's good. Like, honestly... I, I think that's awesome. I've spent days, weeks creating things too, but no one will ever see them because I'm shy. I wonder what you look like, Orange. That's a weird thought. You can throw it on Twitter. Do you need? Yeah. Yeah, what's your Twitter name, Akira? Let me know. Pop it in chat and I'll, I'll at you. I honestly thought Rose was going to start looking up in real life. 
You know, I nearly was. I was gonna, what do you mean? But I stopped myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is totally something I do as well. I'm like that. I'm, I'm a silly billy. But how are you doing, Valiant? Hope you're having a good day. Okay, so I'm going to just get Imager open, but I'm going to shut it for a sec, guys, because um, I'll, I'll probably have to log in. And obviously, you know, I don't want you guys hacking me. Not that you would. You're all lovely humans. But who knows what lurkers are among the stream. Could have some hackers here. Your login information was incorrect. You're a butt face imager. I've put in my right information. I have to say, I keep forgetting, guys. I, I keep not knowing my passwords to things. Um, okay. Um, I think I'm in anyway. Right, so... We're going to do a crop version of the character sheet crop save now that one's for twitter but we need to upload one on the full one on imager I send you my Twitter link on PM Discord. Okay, cool, Kira. I'll uh, make sure I peek at that before I write the tweet. Okay, so we have it uploaded here. Um, Awesome. So I will have to log into the Raindrop Chronicles Twitter. And if you guys uh, want to know the Twitter this is it okay so I'm gonna just copy and paste the last tweet that we did for silent she used that as a template obviously we'll replace the, the URL Okay, I'll look at the Discord now, but I'm going to hide the window capture because you probably don't want... Okay. Awesome. If you don't mind me tagging you, do you, Akira? You'll get, you might get some stalkers who people who fall in love with Legion. They'll be like, who, who's this? I'm fine with it. Yay! AKA Legion. Imagine if we've left in silence in the Um. Okay. Now this is what we have to put the right description in. So. A line to sum up Legion. What should we say? A half, 
a half demon that's a good way to describe him a half demon human with 150 souls inside the same body i think i think that line you know at the end of his character sheet here is a perfect way to describe him to sum him up but even like if you got so, anything else that's better than of course you can say but that is the first thing that pops into my head A half demon gunslinger. Oh yeah, that's a good replace a human with gunslinger. It's a little bit more descriptive, so let's people know. A half demon gunslinger with because it really if someone is a half demon, you know what I mean? The other half usually means they're a human. Gunslinger with hundred and fifty stars inside the same body, yay! Gunslingers a better ring to it. It does. Hey all, it's Mamba. I just changed my name. Hey, oh my goodness, let's click on your name. Michikins. What a I've said that right, it's super cute. I like it. How are you doing? I'll call I'll call you Mishy instead then now. I was gonna call you Mamba, but might as well call you Missy now. You've changed your name. How have you been? It's been a while. Hope you've you've been good. How's life been treating you? Good job, Rose. You said it right. Yay. Okay, so let's meet Akira, aka Legion, a half demon gunslinger with 150 sides of their body. See, full couch sheet here. Okay, everything's perfect. Let's tweet that. And it should change so that, yeah. The crop it, I mean, I have to admit, since Twitter have changed the like layout. The image cropping has gone very strange, in my opinion. I'm not a fan, but, you know, what can we do? People can see it, that's the main thing, and they can see the full image. Just struggling half I hope you get better soon, Mishri. And if you ever need to chat, we have um, a special channel on our Discord. It's here, it's called The, the Shelter under real life things and people just go there if they've got stuff they want to vent about or get off their chest or in real life things so you're always welcome to post there and and vent to us or even if you just need someone to talk to got the notification on twitter we're good yay oh my goodness guys this is this is fun legion is alive and they will be ready for battle yeah i'm gonna i'm actually gonna send a gift to you in response to that after stream i need to find the perfect gift for it so i'll be doing that okay so we we need to put um legion here as well in this section gotta make sure we keep updated with this and we also have the google doc character sheet form as well where we keep all all the sheets so we need to put Silent and um, Akira's character in there too and um, Kindle's when she's approved it. So, playable characters. Okay, so that should be working. I don't know why they're so zoomed in. I think it's because they're zoomed in on my Discord, that's why. In fact, if I zoomed out, I'd probably go back to normal size. You can call me Mishy or Mish, whichever, awesome. I'll call you, I'll call you both, whatever mood I'm in. <laughs> Are you playing any games lately, yeah, Mishy? I'm not really. I'm not, I've been neglecting off stream gaming lately. Um, I was playing The Sims 4 for a bit on my PC. And I want to play more of it. 
But whenever I play The Sims, I always want to buy all the expansions. I want the Seasons one. Okay, so that's all done. We've got Akira done. We've got him at the tweet. So next step is we're going to go on the dashboard and we're going to remove character sheets as our um, task now. Now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is more parallax mapping, I guess, guys. Let's tick off all these tasks that we have to do. So I'm just going to go on my dashboard. I'm not going to show you because... Um, I know what sort of stuff might come up, it might be private, but um, I'll just put virus shot for you to all stare at, put Legion's face for you to stare at while I, while I do this. Okay, so it was character sheets, finished character sheets for Kindled Trash and Akira's characters, okay, so that's done, so I'm going to end that task now. So if you have if you click on the extension you'll see that task is gone now until we get another character eventually we might have more characters to do i know that azriel has filled in a character sheet so when he hits 500 raindrops we'll be doing his character found a gif i'll send it later awesome been, been playing greedful while I wait for the cut code vein to come out. Oh, have you been have you been enjoying that? Oh my goodness, trying to get comfortable here. But it's it's always on to see you again. I, was, I actually was thinking about you the other day. I thought, I hope Black Mamba's doing okay. So, good to see you. Nearly in the top 150. Be a while yet, no rush. Yeah, we've been, like the last few streams have been a lot of character sheets and uh, making so it'll it'll be interesting to actually get back into the game stuff now so as we can see parallax mapping finish parallax mapping for all six areas of everbloom forest and the other task is finish mini maps for all six areas of everbloom forest so we'll probably spend the rest of this week getting the, the parallax mapping and the mini maps done for the everbloom forest and it, you know, that'll be a really good thing to get done and out the way because we can really start focusing on some of the fun stuff. Um, some of the fun stuff once uh, that's done. But before we do that, before I open RPG Maker, um, I'm going to open our, our bot, Carol the Barrel bot. Uh, she's our Discord bot and we, I want to open the polls in case you guys have any good submissions. So Carol should be here. I'm gonna check. Yeah, she's there. And um, submissions are currently closed. They will reopen during next week. So I'll, they're open now. I'm gonna reopen the submissions chat just in case you do have any ideas. I don't want anybody to miss out in case they have got an idea. But. Um, the other the other submissions do have a few votes now so it, it might be hard to catch up at this point but sometimes it, it you never know you might get some votes but basically we only have the main story poll open at the moment this is the one um we need it's, it's a really important one guys so votes even if you don't have any submissions the votes will be great at the moment, um, Makara, aka White Watts, submission is winning, but it's pretty close. It's not a, it's not that ahead yet. Another vote could make all the difference. But I, I, I'm, I like all the submissions, and I'll be happy to see the story go either of these ways. So, um, I haven't made a vote yet. Haven't decided if I am yet or not. Um, but yeah, this is a chapter chapter one part two of the story so if you're curious what part one was it's here on our instagram and once part two has been decided we will be doing a, um, an instagram post for that as well because that'll be a good way to keep track of the story and eventually we'll have all these uh visual written um little chapters that will make a novel 
Okay, so did I? Yep, yeah, I've done the command exclamation mark. Ryan, how are you doing, White? What? Hope you're having a good day. Gives you a bright rise. Yeah, it's good to like swish and uh, do different things. Keeps things fun. Thanks for thinking of me. More whole things to get better. Remember, if you want to chat, uh, we've got the shelter. Our, 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 uh, our channel. Okay, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there. Just want to remind and keep it here in the background to remind you guys that we have this to vote on, um, and we'll keep the the poll open for this today and tomorrow, I believe. And we'll, we might close it after tomorrow's stream because then next week we can really start thinking about the story and writing some dialogue for the next part of the game. But until then, let's do some mapping. I found the perfect gift for him. Yay! Awesome. And yeah, you can post on the on, on the Twitter in response to your character sheet if you want. Okay, so it's been a while since we've uh, had RPG Maker up actually. We had we've had the character generator up, but not the, the map. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update all these three maps because the first three maps we've actually done the cliff decorations for. So let's get Photoshop open. I don't need to save it again because it's already saved. Um, that's Akira's character sheet. Okay, so... Let's open these parallax maps. I did actually save the shortcut to this folder, but it seems like it's gone again. Because it makes it so much easier having the shortcut there. I'll have to find it again and I'll have to make the shortcut again. Boo! One more, guys. Yeah, I have to go through a bazillion folders to find it. It's so much easier having a shortcut to the folder. Into quick access, I think that's it. Yeah, it's there now. Okay, so I'm gonna open all the the maps. They're all gonna pop up now. So perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna have a peek. It hasn't come up. Oh, it has come up now. <laughs> okay it's all loading in we're opening six big maps here so I'm going to just take a moment or two it's been, it's been a week or so since uh, I've opened these parallax maps Does anyone know how to disable the grid from appearing by default? Because I need to do that. I'm sure it's in the preferences somewhere. Just finding the right spot. Okay, so this is what we've done. Um, we recently added a few little, like, sticking out cliffs and vines. Um, and I think it just makes the map look more lived in and old and more messy, more foresty and um, just more realistic overall. And we did that for this map, the first three, the first three maps basically. Um, and 
and we are we just have to do four five and six and the, these ones have a lot of cliff um so we've got a bit to cover with these um but like i said when we're in game it will be zoomed in like that so we we actually won't be seeing all up here because it does look pretty big but we won't we won't really see it unless for some reason we have to have a ladder and climb or something and i like i like uh i like doing even the non-visible parts just in case because who knows like even though it's not visible in game who knows what we might do we might have to climb the mountain and it's just so much easier to do all the map He's alive, boys. Rock and roll. <laughs> I'm too much excited. Let me calm myself. That's good. It's a good thing. I want you guys to be excited. <laughs> okay, right. So, did I save these images? Let me check. Because I'm, I'm going to put them in RPG Maker right now if I did. My goodness, it's taking forever to even open an image. I blame OBS. Okay, I, I didn't actually save them, so I'm going to have to save them now. But I'm going to just check if we've got no graphical glitches. I have to, like, really get my eyes working to make sure there's no glitches but sometimes they go we miss them there'll be a few graphical glitches and um probably won't even see them until the episode one has already been released and we're we'll like oh yeah there's that <laughs> but um it should be good i mean if, if that ever happens and we come across a a weird glitch that shouldn't be there then can always just sort it out and save the map and add it in again i think this one's fine it's pretty much done so i'm going to save um png everbloom forest one And um, this map is like 100% done. We, we've we even got the... We've got the treetops. Wow. See, that's what it looks like when you get rid of the background. And I have the trees there because... Um, it's important that the player doesn't walk over the trees. We need them to be above the character. And that is quite a time consuming job, getting the, uh, the tree overlay. And we, we've done that for maps one and two, but we need to do it for maps three, four, five, and six. So, um, and we added a shadow to the bridge as well. So, and I think that makes it look a bit better than when the shadow wasn't there. Um, and yeah, other than the tree um, overlay, we have to obviously yeah, do the vines and the little cliffs for maps 4, 5 and 6. And um, yeah, there's the lag problem as well, but I'll sort out the lag problem last. We'll get the maps done first. Okay, so they're saved. We'll get them in the RPG Maker editor now. And then we'll do some we'll do some Photoshop parallax mapping. I think
think I'm going to go back to bed because I didn't sleep well, but I wanted to come and say hi. Oh my goodness. I hope you have an awesome sleep. I had a nap yesterday myself. We need them sometimes. So I hope you have a really good nap. And it's all I'm to see you again. Hope to see you again soon, Michelle. And thank you, Ice Cream Curds, for the follow. I appreciate that. And anyone else who's followed today. Sometimes I do miss the follow alerts because of there being no sound. I have thought about adding a sound effect for follows. Because there was one point, I think it was 2017, um, there was a stream, I got so many follows that it made me turn off my follower sound thing. But I think it's, we don't, we can put the set of sound back on now. You too, see you later, yay. Have an awesome day. Okay, Everbloom Forest 1. Oh no, I just realised something. The They're actually in a separate folder. So many folders. So I think it's parallaxes that they need to go in, or is it images? Yeah, there's two folders. There's one called parallaxes and there's one called pictures. And I have to put the files in both of those folders. <laughs> this is a very, uh, it's very, there's a lot of work to this. Parallax mapping isn't a walk in the park. Um, and But it's totally worth it. Like, honestly, the Everbloom Forest would not be what it is if it wasn't for doing parallax mapping. some reason now we're not getting the updated map might need to close the software and refresh it yeah i'm going to just close rpg maker and open it again because sometimes you need to do that Oh, it's updating now. Yep, they've all updated. It's all pretty. Okay, so, yeah, I think put in... We could do the tree overlay for map three first, maybe. Hang on, we've we put the... Uh, yeah. This here, this no, these numbered tiles are basically, um, there's something called region restrictions or something in RPG Maker, but I'm using them for a different purpose. I'm using them to indicate where the player can walk and where they can't walk. So two means that they can walk there and one means they can't walk there. And um, we have to do it this way for parallax mapping. If you don't parallax map and you just you use tile sets, then you do it this way instead. You'd go to the tile set section of the database and and do it this way with um, crosses and O's. But I actually think this way is a lot easier. I prefer it. Um, Okay, so I only use one and two. I don't use any other number, I think. So basically, I just make one the cliffs and the water, and two is every bit of where else where they can walk. I did it for. I didn't put them there for some reason, but I am. I, th I am going to do that now. I think I didn't put them there because the player doesn't even go up there, but they might have to. They might have to one day. Okay, so we I don't believe I've done this for map four, three, four, five, and six yet. Yeah. 
no we haven't done it for this so I, mean, I might have to make a note you know of this because there's so much to do it can get overwhelming to keep up with it all so um one sec let's get a notepad file open Yeah, so So there's a the region restrictions, there's the tree top overlay um, and there's the vine, the cliff decorations and, I, and then there's the lag lag problem so and oh yeah mini max even though the mini max is a separate thing it's not really related to parallax mapping I'll still put it there anyway um, I think that's the main three things. The so just deciding what to do first. I'll do a bit of both. It's probably a good thing to split it up and do a mixture. Have you sorted out the delayed loading loading of the overlay? I haven't yet. Why? What? That is one of the things because I'm at the moment. I'm just making a a list of all the things we've got to do and I've just called it lag problem <laughs> because basically what happens is I'm sure you might be aware of this but um while walking between the maps of the Everbloom forest it can take about five seconds for the for the parallax map to load in and it looks all weird before then I, because it hasn't loaded in um and I assume that's one because it's a big file it's a parallax map the big so that's probably why it's taken a while to load in and also because you know the it's a large full screen map it's not a tiny one but i'm sure there's a way to do it i mean like i've I said before a lot of rpg makers use do parallax mapping so i'm sure they have a way to do it um, maybe there's a plugin or something that I can do to stop the lag or prevent it the parallax image or the overlay image um i think it's the actual parallax image that's taking a while to load in um so yeah if you do know any solution to that why what that would be really helpful but no worries if not because what i was planning to do anyway was go on the rpg maker forums in the support and ask on there um but um yeah I'll, I'll have to have a little look around to try and solve that if i'm struggling i've come back with nachos yummy eulogy master can we have some <laughs> i i actually have some fruit um i had to have the apples immediately because they were they were gonna go black but um watermelon and grapes last a while so we're good you got me with a funny face. I'm a hamster face now. I'm a hamster. Can I see the event where you call the overlay? Sure. Okay, let's look at the Blessed Cascade for, because that's like, you know, the one that's complete. So, um, I'll show you that one instead. Uh, it's been a while since I've like properly looked at the settings for this but i believe hang on what is this show picture oh this is the mini map that's the wrong one let's have a look this yeah this is where i call the mini map i have in the top left and i have the calling the parallax map on this one so show picture 18 i mean i i might have done something wrong with the code and because I'm not like an expert, so I might be doing something that's slowing it down on purpose. So if there is a more efficient way, that would be great. But yeah, this is the overlay. This calls the trees. And um, the this uh, 
image here calls the actual parallax map. So, well, it's actually not calling it at the moment because I did change the image, but we'll put it back. And that's that set as below tile map, and that's yeah, that's above characters. You should have it on the event that teleports you out of the map. Fade out, change overlay image, transfer fade in. Okay, one sec, why? Well, I, wanna, I need to make sure I've, I'm focusing here. I'm going to just see what um, Akira said and catch up with chat and then I'll fully focus on it. And that is a nice head you have on your shoulders. Hi, can I be welcome? <laughs> we were talking about my shoulders earlier, actually. What a coincidence. I was saying how I'm showing my shoulders today, and I better be careful because, you know, it's skin. And now uh, some people don't take well to that. I'm back, sorry. I'll be watching your stream and playing Payday 2 at the same time. I'll try to react as much as possible. No worries, guys. You got you do your thing. No worries at all. And um, I appreciate you being here and hanging out, right? You should have it on the event that teleports you out of the map. Okay, let, let's let's get my thinking cap on. Because one thing about me, I struggle. Um when I'm when I'm like distracted, I can take a while to fully focus on something properly and I have to get my, my brain into gear so I can actually understand what's going on. Okay, since the image is so big, might still take a couple of seconds to load in. You'll be able to add in a wait on the teleport event. Okay, let's get this right then. So you should have it on the event that teleports you out of the map. Okay, now what event is that? Teleport. This is the. These are the events here that teleport me out the map. I have. Um, let's zoom in on them. I have five of them because there's. It's yeah. It's a bit thick, <laughs> so we have to add the five. So at the moment, I've just got fade out. I think I actually added the fade out and fade in because of the like the weight for it to appear but I have it at 60 frames I don't know if it, I've done that right but um, yeah um, so basically what you're saying is instead of having it on that event that I have above there to move it to that one because that's a parallel the trigger for that is a parallel which because that means it works straight away um, when the screen appears whereas this is a player touch so yeah I assume you mean put winding way the winding way map on there I assume that's what you mean so what I have for winding way where is it so th this all for the winding way this these two images here do you mean like copy and paste those from that event and put them all in here like there is that right or have I got that completely wrong and I have the fade in and I have the weight um, it take us a couple of seconds to load and you'll be able to add in a weight on the teleport event so by the wait is fine is that a long enough time I feel like if it, if it was any longer people are getting patient um, we could test this out though and see if it works that'd be great um, I've got to make sure though that the images are, are there because I did change the name of the images so it's messed it up well, I, haven't, I didn't change the name of the overlay, but I did for the main map. Okay, so I'm just going to delete these ones and copy and paste the, this for now, and um, I'll just ch I'll just change the uh, where it teleports once we're done, once we know it works. Okay, so now I've put them there, I assume we have to delete this because we don't need that event anymore. Hopefully I'm right. 
but is is it fine to leave that one there for the first map because we, we we do come out of like full so maybe we have to put it there for when we leave like full rather than have it there depends i suppose if it takes a while to load in right yeah 60 frames is one second let's test this then I did actually download, I did. I do remember I downloaded a plugin. It was a sort of preloader plugin that's meant to load all the images in before you actually even play the game. I don't know if it worked, you know. I don't know if I got it working properly. Okay, so we'll just. We'll see, we might get a lot of lag now. Yeah, the lag is coming. But that's because we're, stre we, we're streaming it. And he never used to do that though when we test played. So, um, I know. My, my crappy computer. Okay, so that one, that file. The problem with that RMB is it. It only bothers to run events when the map is fully rendered, in other words, after the um, transfer fades in, which means that it will always be delayed, and since you are dealing with such a large image, it may take an even longer delay, yeah. There's always a way around things, though, right? I hope. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a popular choice, parallax mapping, and I wouldn't say my map was ridiculously massive, if you know what I mean. The, I mean, I broke them into six separate maps, so imagine if ever bloom forest was all one big giant map then it would be a problem probably but I, I do think breaking them into six sections hopefully has helped a bit at least preloaders add in a somewhat long loading before the game or after you click new game don't remember some random dudes preloader can run specific things so i think if you use it you can set it to just preload the images yes i think that is the preloader i actually have um, that's the one I've got, but I don't know if I set it up right because it doesn't seem, or maybe it's not really for what I want. Um, but let's test. Okay, so I'm not surprised because I did change the name of the image. But I, did, I thought I did change it. I did change the image, so I'm confused. Maybe there's something else that I have to change that I forgot about. Um, yeah, so Everbloom Forest 1, I did change it. But is there another event that I need to change it at? Minimap's fine. Yeah, it's been a few, like... Oh, well over a month since I've last looked at all these events. I need to or put them in an orderly, um, organised way so I understand where it is everything is. Yeah, that's the trigger for enemy indicators. My goodness. We're going to have a lot of events. There's not too many though. Not sure where that image is though. Do I have to start a new game? Maybe it's because I'm loading from a game, an old game, an old load save. So maybe I have to start a new game. I only don't like some random news preloaded because the loading bar looks ugly and it doesn't let you customise it. Well, that's unfair, isn't it? Okay, um... I'm going to start a new game of Raindrop Chronicles. Um, because I think because it's a lot on old loads so there, maybe that's, that's a problem. My goodness, what if it was like hours through the game and something like this happened? I don't know what the way around is for people who test games. 
I'm sure there is though, because I wouldn't fancy playing hours of playthrough just to get to a save, get to a save that worked. Luckily we're at the beginning though, so it doesn't really matter at this point, but I wouldn't like to do this if I'd, if we'd made loads of the game. I'm, ass I'm assuming that this is why it's not working and why there's an error. Because we need to, we changed the names of the maps and it's come up as an error on the loaded game. Um, we make Jesus again. And I have the sound muted on this as well, just uh, so it don't clash with the background music. But eventually, like when we do proper test plates and stuff, I'll, I'll, um, we'll have the sound in the game, of course. But for now, this is just visual testing, so we don't need the sound. Hey, what's happened to Carol the Barrel? Carol? No, Carol's fine. She's there. <laughs> but the barrel behind Carol's gone weird. I must have been editing the tile set and something went wrong with that one. But I'm glad that Carol's fine. Jesus, son, I know, yeah. I, like, honestly, he's going to become my actual default character, Jesus is, at this rate. So we need to get the quest. We don't have to get the quest. It does let you go to the Everbloom Forest without accepting the quest. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, but I want to grab it anyway. I'm so excited to actually get the quest written up in the journal. Because at the moment it's not written up. We've got the journal, but just yeah, it's not filled in yet. And I would I would love to do icons as well. At the moment, we've got a star, but I want to actually have an icon of maybe the that will fit with the quest. That would be cool. Quest exclamation mark! Yeah, I know it's cool, isn't it? I really am. Um, I'm really happy I've gone with the whole um, quest marker thing. I think uh, having it be like that indicates clearly to the players what they've got to do and where they've got to go. Because one thing about some RPGs, um, it's easy to get lost. I know in some Final Fantasy single player games, people are like, where do I go now? Um, but with a quest marker, it's always pretty straightforward where you've got to go. Um, yes, this is a problem that we're facing. What has happened to the album? <laughs> As you can see, it's loaded in now, but it took a few seconds. <laughs> it was like, whoa, what's happened? So, um, maybe we have to do your trick quite what, but put the map on the, where we, you know, transport to the scene. Let's see if it works for this one first, because we haven't even tested it. I think it looks pretty though. I'm, I'm, we've only got a couple of enemies walking around at the moment, but it's gonna when there's more enemies, it's gonna look awesome. I don't want to fill it with too many enemies though, because you guys will get salty. And look, we got the enemy enemy indicators as well on the mini map. And also, yeah, if you don't like the mini-map, you can get rid of it. I forgot the key now, though, for getting rid of the mini-map. There is a, a button that I have for hiding it. Okay, I kind of saw it for like a milli millisecond. But then it went straight to how it should be which is this this is how it should be 
um, but it was like literally there for a tiny millisecond which is better than it was before <laughs> but maybe we have to extend the wait time from 60 frames to a little bit more maybe that's what we do page up page down yay that's it you're right it's page up page and you can play this with the controller as well and i think it's the l1 button or something with the controller increase wait time okay so it looks like it's it's done now so what all i'm going to do now is i'm going to increase the wait time and i'm also gonna um for the map we'll do we'll do it so the first like full the first ever bloom forest map is moved as well on the transfer event from like full um and then we'll test it again we'll load the game up again so i'm Okay. I forgot where I put it now. At straight after the fade out screen. We're getting lag. We shouldn't now because we've crossed off our, the test pay. It's weird how some days my computer completely behaves and other days it doesn't. I'm going to open my task manager and have a little peek in a second to see what's happening. Um, okay, so I'm going to extend the wait time then. Maybe to a hundred. And now this here, this show picture business here is the um, text. I have an Everbloom Forest title that comes up. And I quite like that touch. Um, So we'll just see if this works, see how effective it is and hopefully at least sort, sort one out of our five tasks because we've got the region restriction thingy magic, we've got the tree overlays to do, we've got the rest of the cliff decorations to do and the lag problem and the mini maps. So those are like our five tasks. Windows updates is always Windows updates, maybe that's what's doing it then. I'm just going to open my task manager so it might lag again while I do this or it might not. Um, okay, just give me a mo and just do some investigating just in case there's a program or something I have open that's hogging out everything. And it, you know, it'll be OBS because it always is. Everything's fine right now. Um, I think the CPU is fine. What it is, it's the memory. The memory is what is um, seems more. And it, it st Streamlabs and Google Chrome are the culprits. In fact, Google Chrome is what is a bigger culprit than Streamlabs because I do have Google Chrome open. I have a few tabs, I have to say. Um, hmm. But other than that, the others, nothing else is an issue. RPG Maker, MV, Photoshop art isn't a problem either. Nothing else is. Yeah, it's Chrome and OBS. Or maybe there's something else in the background. Or a Windows update, who knows. Hi Granny, how are you doing? I'm already in the process of making a, a remake of this RPG. A remake of this RPG? This RPG? Rainbow Chronicles? No way. No. Chrome uses a light seems. Maybe try Firefox instead. Or maybe there's a weird ta a tab or an extension I have that's 
the, the culprit that's hogging all the memory. I could try Firefox, that's a good idea. I do have a, a fondness for crime, but maybe it's time we have a change. I'm, I'll, I'll experiment. I'll try something different tomorrow. I prepare a big thing for Legion story. You saw the summary. Get ready tomorrow for the story by Legion view, meaning dialogue and what happens. Oh, cool. I'm excited to see more of here. And, um, I mean, I really like the depth you've gone into and it, it's cool to to introduce some of this to the game, for sure. I want you guys to come up with ideas with story-wise and that. It just makes my job easier. No, it's Chrome. Chrome just uses a lot of your computer's resources. Okay. So there's no way I can u still use Chrome, but just change the way I use it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a problem. It's, it's worse than stream OBS. It's proved it. So if Firefox will behave then, will it? Will it be good? I'll use Firefox tomorrow instead. And we'll see how that works then. We'll see how it compares. But yeah, maybe that's been the problem all along. And that was me thinking it was OBS. I was blaming OBS when it was Chrome all along. Do you do you guys use Firefox? Do you use it, Rex? Okay, so we we just we're gonna test it again now. We'll see if White Watts thingy work. I'll be very happy if it works, White Watt. So this is where we get we do get a bit of lag as well when we play test. Um but maybe that's because it's it's trying to work, but it can't because Chrome's stealing all of it. So maybe it'll stop lagging once once we fix Chrome or get rid of Chrome. I use Chrome, but my computer is a little more updated than yours. Bless you for being polite about it. What you mean to say is that my computer is a pile of poop, <laughs> which it is. It's not. My computer is a, like, I'm really happy with how, uh, how long it's lasted and how it is actually still working. But it isn't, it wasn't built for streaming. I have to say it wasn't built for streaming, but um, I've managed. <laughs> Firefox is generally known as one of the more insecure browsers. I use it as a last resort as it works for some flash um, enabled content. Okay. So so Richard thinks Firefox maybe isn't a good one to use. It's interesting, isn't it? But yeah, I, if Chrome is being a butt face in terms of stealing all the my computer's memory, I'm not going to be its friend. That's a fact. Okay, so we're going to start a new game again. I'm going to make Jesus again unless anybody has wants me to make anybody else as a character. <laughs> we'll see who we can make. Oops, I've accidentally made someone super pale. Jesus isn't pale. Let's just make someone random. Let's see who we get. Okay, so we've got just a random dude, basically. <laughs> Rip Flash 2020, yeah. Well, he's saying it's insecure. It'll probably be more friendly with computer resources. Oh, okay, forgive me. <laughs> I'm a noob when it comes to uh, knowing all the knowing all the tech. But face. I'm ready. I wonder which of you guys will give your, the custom hero a silly name when you play. Still need to fix that, need to remember that glitch there with the barrel. I have no idea how that has happened if I'm quite honest but um, what I think it is, it's a tile set thing. I must have edited a tile set. And guys, this is Carol the Barrel, by the way. 
Perhaps there's a more secure web browser that doesn't eat up your computer RAM like Google Chrome. Yeah, maybe a bit of research, but I suppose Firefox for now. Unless there's a better one that we can think of. I don't really know that there's any others apart from Chrome and Firefox that anyone uses these days. Also, we're not going to bother getting the Quest this time. Basically, what I'll probably do if um, the person doesn't accept the quest and they go straight to the Everbloom Forest is that all that happens is when they see the innkeeper's sister in the forest is they'll be able to set, talk to her, but it won't trigger the quest. She'll like just say one sentence and that'll be it. It won't trigger the event, should I say. Because I kind of want to lead the... I want to kind of give the illusion of an open world RPG. Um, if you know what I mean, and I think that'll be a way to do it, rather than forcing the player to not go to the Everbloom Forest until they accept the quest. But face, are you happy with your choices? It's a good name, isn't it? Oh, did it load? It loaded in, didn't it? I didn't even notice. It lagged a little bit then, though, just as I was walking down. Lake full. Let's have a look. Is it actually worked? This is too good to be true. I think it actually worked, guys. It's so good that I keep wanting to go backwards and forwards to see it again. Because I'm not used to this joy. <laughs> Also, because we've named the areas of the Everbloom Forest, like this is called Bless Cascade, um, uh, have to have that labelled somewhere. It'll either come up with the title underneath it or it'll be under the mini map. I haven't decided yet, but I really want there to be a way that we can see the location in the menu. Maybe there's a plugin for that because um, it would be really useful to see uh, Everbloom Forest Bless Cascade as the location. It just really would help people with quests because, for example, if we get a quest that says, oh, you've got you've to kill the... you've got to find a leaf. You've got to find a leaf in winding way, <laughs> as if that would be a quest. Um, it would just be helpful to have it, everything labelled well so people actually know where winding way is. But... Um, yeah, so I think a main menu thing. I know that the Final Fantasy VII did that. Oh, I think most Final Fantasies have the location in the main menu. Congrats! Yay! Thank you for your help, White What? Good job we got someone who knows what they're talking about when it comes to code and stuff. Um, been working, just seen the chat. Brave browser is generally better than Chrome. Oh, Brave? A man who for never have hear, hear, hearing about that browser before. <laughs> I, I'm always up for trying something new if it's going to be good. Why is it better than Chrome then? Can you make it so that the zone name pop up doesn't actually pause the character's movements? That's a good. That's an actual good request. Silent. Um, because at the moment, yes, it, it comes up as a picture. Maybe there's a way to do that. Hopefully, it'll be straightforward. But I'm going to put a note of that silence so I remember. Map titles don't pause characters' movements. Because I'm, I'm, I'm currently making a list of all the stuff I need to do involving mapping in notepad just so i don't forget because it's quite a little a big thing this is and i don't want to forget anything um but i do really like the titles coming up like that it, just to let people know where they are and it's visual and pretty but yeah it would be a good idea if the could people could still move for sure is it worked it's worked too good to be true like do you ever get like that like when you, when you you have a bug or a problem and it seems impossible to fix and then when it has worked you're like hang on has it really worked though has it really worked it's like i'm in disbelief sometimes but it seems like it has 
I think we fixed the lag issue we've been having, guys. Thanks to White Watt. He, he knew what, what, was, what needed to be done. So, at the moment, it's working. Fingers crossed that it doesn't happen again. Um, I, can, I can see a few visual glitches here. Bloody hell. Look at the cliff there. I don't know if you guys have spotted it, but I've spotted a right mess. So, sometimes that's going to happen. I'm going to see some visual glitches that need sorting out. Um, okay, so let's go back into our PG maker. Save. Okay. So, lag, I'm going to just put lag problem done in brackets. Just so I know that that's sorted now. So, the next task. So we've got so many things to do, it's just trying to get organised and making sure we do everything in the most effective order. So we've got the region, regions for all the maps, I might do that now, get that out of the way. And then we can move to the tree overlays and the cliff decorations for the last three maps. Okay, so the regions are sorted out for this one. It's really straightforward. Literally all the paths for num numbered as two and all the cliffs and the non-passable areas um, numbered as one. Because if we did do this, Jesus would be walking all over the bloody map. He'd be walking over water. And Jesus totally doesn't do that. No, he doesn't. Runs a lot more smoothly and is actually private, so no Google adding adverts based on your searches. That's cool, Laz. Can't believe I've not heard that. Is it an, is it an upcoming uh, browser? And it has a built-in ad blocker as well. Brilliant. Also, Rose, could you try using this plugin for the God Rays instead of using an image? Okay. Sure, White. Well, I'll, I'll just copy and paste that link. Will that help as well, do you think? Could that... Um, do you think having an image as the race is... Uh, is, is causing a bit of lag as well, do you reckon? Instead of Sunbeam image. And hi Kay, oh my goodness. Sorry it's taken me a while to say hi. Very, got a lot of stuff going on here. Lots of uh, concentration. <laughs> How are you doing Kay? Thank you so much for the host. I hope you're an awesome day. And Kay, Kay is a character in the game, so that means she will be walking across as a stream avatar. But I don't, I don't think, I'm not sure whether she's a peer yet. Maybe if someone hosts, I don't. But when she appears, if she does appear, I'll have to change her avatar. Because she'll probably come be a random one instead of the one she should be. Jesus weren't walking on water. I knew that parable was just a case of parallax mapping. Im images, well, it's butt face now, not Jesus, remember. Images love lagging at RPG Mega Games, plus that plugin's God Razor animated. Super fancy. Awesome. Will that work for like um, future maps as well? Like, it'll let us like customize how we want them to look, right? Because one thing I like about having the image using an image for the overlay so I can make it look however I want. Um, so as long as there's a flexibility, I guess. It's like the underwater, you know, your underwater effect that you showed me? Um, like, it, it, you ha to get that to work, you, I suppose, had to be a certain way. Oh, no, I'm rambling now. I'm just saying I like the idea of having the flexibility of having it look how we want. But I'll have a, I'll have a look at that later. So I will focus on doing this first. I've saved I've saved the um, link anyway that you've sent me. And as I'll try that one, I'll actually download that browser and I'll try that one tomorrow and see how that works instead and see if it takes up less of the memory that Chrome's taking up. Okay, so we got to do the other four maps now. So, this is something 
I actually nearly forgot about <laughs> these region numbered things. It's actually, I don't know if I'm doing it right because the tree's blocking the way in some areas, but. It's easy enough to change. I, I find this easier than doing it through the database with the tile sets, to be honest. I'm hungry, I need watermelon. Oh my god, this is a big piece. How's that gonna fit in my mouth? Ooh, you're getting close, white what? I'm a hamster again. I've put a region restriction, I've put um, that she can't walk there, <laughs> there's a character standing right there, she'll be stuck. I kind of might have it so they can walk on the edge, I don't know, it might look lame. I've got to test that out and see how that's going to work. Because um, in the story, um, Chuck who did chapter one part one he actually wrote it so that she is actually in the water so that's why I've put her in there even though we're not meant to be walking on water I'm sure there's a way we could do it if it does look weird but we, we'll only know when we test it for now we'll just we'll just have it as it should be Okay, did I block the trees? How did I do it? No, I have it so that you can walk under them and stuff. But I have it so that you can't, the bottom bit of the tree, you can't walk over. So I've got to keep it consistent. And that makes sense, I guess. Because you should be able to walk behind the trees. But just not where the trunk is. Nom, nom, nom. Why isn't it labelled? Oh, it is. It's because because <laughs> I was zoomed out and there was hard. Why isn't it labelled? But then you do that and it is. I'm silly. Okay, so just like the free of free at the bottom of the tree. So I'll do that for all the trees. And then I'll just fill in the rest of it with number two. 
Not a poop. Don't mean that. I mean number two is in, in RPG maker region restrictions, not the potty. Guys, you in your dirty minds. I don't know, I missed that one out. So easy to miss some of these trees sometimes. Because yeah, the player should be able to walk behind the trunk, but just not where it's coming out of the ground. Okay, what about the little trees? How did I do those? Yeah, those are still... They can't work, walk at the bottom half of them. Question. Are you going to make use of the vehicles, mainly the airship? Um, It's difficult to say because the world map kind of... It's all like small. So it kind of changes the visual appearance. And I'm not sure whether I'm a fan of that. If I want to go with having the miniature world map thing... Um, I think it'll pro we'll probably do it so that when we transition between areas and places, we just it's more like fight how Final Fantasy X is, where you just walk from one area through to another, rather than have an actual world map. You know what I mean? I haven't a hundred percent made up my mind yet on that. Like I wouldn't say I'm certain, but that was just a thought, just for more realism. Um, but as for vehicles, I mean, if if it, I mean, I'm not sure how it works because I'm only aware of the small miniature vehicle, well, map type of vehicles in RPG Maker, not like big ones or anything. In this world, the characters only travel by Lamborghini. Not, I mean, who knows? I mean. If it ever kept, someone wrote a story and it won the poll that we were going to go travel by carriage or Lamborghini or spaceship or whatever, I'd have to think of a way to make that happen. Um, but I, I'm just not sure about going with the whole world map miniature thing. I haven't. I know that that's an option with RPG Maker, but I haven't decided. That'd be a decision I made once we've finished Everbloom Forest and we actually move to another area. Maybe what I'd do is put up a poll and say, are we, should we have a world map, like a traditional Final Fantasy world map, where it's miniature? Or shall we not, and shall we do a more Final Fantasy X route where we just move from one region to another without there being a map? Um, so I'll probably put up a poll to see what wins and what seems to be the most popular because I always like to, to go with what the most people like. I personally am not a fan of vehicles. Would be more immersive, for example, if you want to travel from one land to another, have the player go to the docks, buy a ticket, go into the ship and boom, teleport, maybe a cutscene in between. Yeah, like that, how you describe what is similar to how Vinyl Vanity 10 did it because... Um, Remember, I'm not sure if you've played it, but you they kind of travelled by ship, didn't they? And you actually, instead of there being a tiny ship, like how a, a, a more traditional Final Fantasy did, you actually were on the ship and it was actually a, a room in, in, in on it. So, you know what I mean? And it was actually part of the story that they travelled on the ship. Um so yeah i know what you mean it's more immersive like that and i personally am a fan of that too and i'm not going to say no to vehicles because say as long as it was immersive and fitted in with the story i would be for that for sure um but it would be help thinking how to do it i suppose because i'm not a fan of the miniature like little world map thing for this game i'm not sure but i, I like i said i haven't decided we'd probably do a poll some people might like it who knows maybe it's super popular maybe other people actually would really like a world map but yeah that's what the polls are for and we'll do that whenever the time's right and whenever we get to that part of the game 
where it's relevant. Did Rex Google the spelling of Lamborghini or is he a spelling bee champion in disguise? Well, only Rex can answer that. I bet you're shocked I know how to pronounce that word though. I mean, I'm not a car expert, am I? And I actually know how to say Lamborghini. And I guess that's because I really like those cars. When I played Grand Theft Auto, they were the cars that I always won in. But I, I, in all honesty, I like retro cars. If I had a car myself, I'd want an, like a really nice retro car. Neither spell check. Yay. Okay, these trees are sneaky. Have I missed any? Ah. Oh, sneaky tree. I feel like I've missed one. Yeah, I missed one. It was there. And there. And there. Oh my god, there's loads. Okay, so I think that's it. Also, the bridge, we need to be able to walk over that, of course. So, we just fill in the gaps. And also, we want to be able to... These should be walkable. I know that uh, they're in the middle of the, the pond, so we probably won't. But, um, who knows? There might be a quest that involves crossing the pond to get on here. <laughs> who knows what they'll be? Because we'll be, we'll all be deciding the side quests as a community. Um, we'd probably do a vote thing where you submit side quest ideas, and the ones that 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 pull the most votes will be the side quests that we go for. And we'll probably start doing side quest submissions once once we've actually finished all the enemy design and. Uh, tested the battles, done the first boss, and make and all the Everbloom Forest is working perfectly and that. And yeah, once we've done all that, we'll probably move on to thinking of side quests. Once the main quest, the first main quest is done and stuffs. That's the one downside of not using a browser based chat, but thankfully Alexa can spell words for me. <laughs> I usually just put in Google to check the spelling if I'm ever unsure. I also like to believe my spelling is getting better due to removal of spell check. You're a good speller, Silent. You're good at spelling. I bet 100 books this girl is from the UK. I'm from Greenland. Do you know? I'm Santa's daughter. That's why I've got a beautiful white beard, just like him. I'm proud of my beard. Okay, so save. Pay up. <laughs> no, I'm Santa's daughter. Don't, don't you like my beard? <laughs> you got me silent. Couldn't fall silent. Okay, so yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all this out the way with these um, one and two things, the region restrictions, because that, that's one job done then. And it's nice to just get something out of the way and not have to think I have to do it. And that, that's why I want to do the tree overlays soon as well, just because it's a pain to think I have to do all the tree overlays. Oh, 
are i love seeing this cave though it makes me excited guys because that means we've got a cave dungeon to do next i wonder what's gonna happen in the cave no nobody knows yet who knows what's inside Maybe a third party member will be inside the cave. <laughs> we only have six party members, so it has to kind of fit with the plot at least. But who knows? So much cliff. She probably is in London because everyone from the UK lives in London. Yeah, London is the only place in the UK to, to many people. People have thought that about me. Apparently my accent sounds London. It's weird, isn't it? Because it's not. <laughs> my accent isn't a London accent at all. But, um... But yeah, I, yeah, I guess there might be similarities. Who knows? Akira is from the land of France. We have everybody from from everywhere in this stream. It's awesome. No, I'm not meant to do that there. Doing parallax mapping can be quite chill though, when you know what it is you've got to do. <laughs> I'm just I'm really glad we sorted out the lag, guys, because that was a worry at the back of my mind. I thought, oh, God, what if we never sort out the lag? But we have. I'm doing all the trees. Hope so. Oh, like that water as well. Done. Spanish is the crap version of Portuguese for chavs, I swear. Oh my god, it's been ages since I've heard the word chav. It used to be something we always used to say here. Bloody chavs. And I, I'm not, I'm the opposite of a chav, in case anybody's curious.
What's a chaff? <laughs> How would we describe a chaff? It's really difficult to miss out without sounding like a massive snob. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, how on earth would I describe someone that's just not like me? It's hard to say because I don't like to be judgmental or event or anything like that about people because I don't think that's necessary. And I think people can surprise you sometimes. People that you think are a certain way actually aren't nothing like that. But um, chavs, I I just I loved making fun of chavs because at school the chavs were the ones I got bullied by. If that makes sense, like. You know when you're at school and there's that group of cool kids that really think that they're amazing, but they're really not? That's a chav. Well, they were the ones that ended up chavs when we left school anyway. And they're the ones that were the bullies. So yeah, that's why I don't like chavs. <laughs> and why I'm not one. Associated with aggression. Yeah. Silence. You know, thugs. You know what a thug is, <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Bullies and thugs. What surprised me is that not everyone can identify as French when I talk on vocal. Some people can identify it, but somehow I manage to suppress my French accent when talking. I read eh? Well, you, well, you guys are really good at English. Like, I'm terrible at other languages. <laughs> I can only speak English. One thing about us English is that we're very, very lazy. We, we only want to know our language. We, we're terrible. That was yours. It's a modified. That's awesome. Okay, got to the trees again. One more map of this after this, which will be a relief. proud of the Everbloom Forest though. For the first dungeon as well. I expected the first dungeon to be amateur. Any, yeah, they're all dumb. Ah, what is this nonsense? Well, that isn't meant to be. <laughs> Hang on, let's. Uh, I think it's copied and pasted this one or something for some reason. Right, we're gonna have to delete it. It's not meant to. Have. Yeah, it's definitely the Bless Cascade. Same shape. Okay, so. So all going well, 
next week starting next week we will be doing probably some moving on to some different stuff in a lot with the game because i'd say parallax mapping will be done by next week so if, if you look at the extension on the stream i've like after we've done the mini maps and stuff and the parallax mapping um I think the focus will be enemies for a bit, so we'll probably do that. And then it's thinking what to do after that. I think I'd say after we've done the enemies, and we'll probably be doing the dialogue for the main story quest, and and all the lead up to the first boss. That will probably be what we do. We think it's beautiful even if we're not supposed to like it, but whatever people can people think about us, we need more of that calm environment. Yeah, it's it is very beautiful. And um it's got it's really interesting to Legion's perspective on the Everbloom Forest. Cause it's nice. I mean it's um Lake Fall has a bit of a tragic story behind it. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do like sort of place description sheet because we've got it for the characters but we might need one for the places because um, I'm not sure who here knows some of you would if you were that here during the streams but like for which is our first the little village attached to Everbloom Forest um, it has a sad story behind it involving a massacre all these graves were people that died and we have that was all decided by Paul we, we decided that 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 was the backstory and I'm gonna have to write up the details that we know about that so we so people can know what happens and because these are important details for sure It was my only way to get um, SCP sorted without copyright since I can't draw. Well, that softer version of the Village of Dark Woods. The Everbloom Forest is a, is a softer version of the Dark Woods, yes. Well, the opposite, really. There's nothing dark about the Everbloom Forest. It's a lovely place. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some secrets. We only we only know when more of the story unfolds. It appears nice on the outside, but you know. Also, I saw the picture of Legion on your um the dock, and he look. He, I, I, we got him looking quite close to him, didn't we? <laughs> He's with the horns and stuff. Nine time bottles of beer on the wall is disgusting. The song. Yeah, I I know that song. Imagine though, yeah, if there was 99 bottles of beer on the wall. What a waste of beer, that's all I can say. <laughs> if it was if it was splashed on the wall, that is. It's, it's a wonder they don't all get the flu. Maybe they have got the flu. I think 
now it's done I don't think I've missed any trees out yay all that all of that is done I can tick it off the list now okay so next steps tree overlays and the cliff decorations those are the main things and after that it's really just linking on the maps uh, making sure that none of them lag when going through them and doing all the mini maps and the map titles as well and also make what silence said about trying to make sh make sure that the the character doesn't pause so yeah those are the things we're going to be working on next and i've got that link to the uh, rays as well that white what sent so i might replace those two um okay oh crap why is it why is the ancient overlay moved down there hang on we'll put it back up that's weird no problem it's there where it should be now <laughs> the, these maps here these are just um the tiled versions i've, I've kept them saved But the, these are the parallax map versions. So let's get off that. Let's get rid of these ugly, ugly red and orange tiles. And see the pretty map again. Um, no. So tree tree overlays job one. We've done them for Bless Cascade and Winding Way, but we haven't done them for the last four maps. So let's get Photoshop up again. Who's wasting beer? <laughs> Nobody, luckily. We'd, we'd be mad if people were. I'm not even a fan of beer, but I don't appreciate the wasted drink. <laughs> To wonder, yeah. Unity Master likes beer, though, yeah. Most people do. I'm more of a wine and spirits person, and every other alcohol type of person that isn't beer. Okay, so how did we do these trees again? Let's have a let's have a little look. We have three layers of trees. I'm gonna just hide everything else because it gets confusing to have it all there. Okay, so those are all the trees. So I've got to basically open the tile set and put all the trees in position where they should be oh my goodness this is a job and then once i've done that well i don't really need to open the tiles i can just copy and paste them from here to be honest that will be fine and then once i've done that what's this tree tops okay so i have to chop off the bottoms of the trees the bits that they're not meant to walk the bits that they're meant to walk under so the trunks have to disappear that's easy enough and what's this i'm really confused what this is it's been a month since i did these tree tops Presentation at Legion Stories done. I'll make it the old thing tonight on my bed. What a nice way to finish the journey. Yay! Trying to 
trying to figure out what on earth this is. I'll remember in a sec. I'm probably going to have to look at the map of the Everbloom Forest tonight. Um, I think it's what I, you know, what I'm meant to walk under, I think. The bits that, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I know now. Okay, I guess we're gonna do it. Oh my god, this is, I've been delaying this part of the parallax mapping because it was really it, it was time consuming doing it for the first two maps. It's gonna be even more time consuming for the last four because there's more trees. Okay, so I'm going to just copy and paste the trees we need. We'll work on this tree type first. But this is a part we have to do because if we didn't do it, if we didn't do it, then, you know, we'd be walking all over the trees and that wouldn't be a very realistic map. Uh, I'm going to just tidy up the map. Because we've got too many unnamed layers. Well, not too many, only one unnamed layer. So, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide all the extra stuff like the flowers and the rocks for now. Just so you'll be easier knowing what it is I'm doing then. And I'm also gonna put the map a little bit transparent oh oh gosh how did I I need to make it snap because it's, it's going to be really a pain in the butt to try and make sure I get it exactly overlapping it. And I know there was a, there's a way to snap it because I did it before. I mean, I'm looking neat. See, I know where this is in graphic scale, but I don't in Photoshop. I'll find it though. Do I need to have the grid on for it to work? Yeah, maybe I need the grid on. Maybe it's not working because I don't have the grid on. oh my goodness how are you doing missy hope you're doing good oh my god because you have a character in the game we we're saying this earlier we need to make sure that your avatar is set up properly so um change k t low avatar to k's avatar Because at the moment she's a Kira. There you go, you've changed. Right. How are you doing, Kai? Thank you for that host earlier. How is your day going? 
I hope you have an awesome day. I'm good. How's you? I'm good. Got some uh, mapping that I'm doing that's very time consuming. But once it's done, it'll be awesome. Because uh, it'll feel great to have got it all done. These are all our six maps that we've been working on. Oh my goodness. There's so many. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's going to be an awesome dungeon when it's done. Are you excited to come back to streaming, Kai? Okay, so let's get Photoshop back up now. So many window captures. You're welcome. It was trying to listen at work, but kept getting interrupted. Yeah, silly people interrupting. <laughs> I hope work went well. I want to. I need to make this grid bigger. Preferences. I think it's forty-eight by forty-eight. I needed it on. Yeah, that snaps a lot better when it's a bit bigger. So the goal is to place trees over the trees because <laughs> this is the background map. But we need and to make another image on top of that, which is literally just trees. And the reason for that is so that so that we can have an overlay, so we can give the illusion that the player's walking under the trees. Otherwise, in game, we'll just be walking over them all if it's a flat image. So this this is going to act as the overlay. But it's, it's, it's a tough job, it's a time consuming one, because when this is done we have to also like chop the trees up as well. It's worth it. Very lol. I wish I planned to come back earlier. Oh my goodness. Well, you're here. You're here now, and that's what matters. Sometimes the break's good and it's necessary. It's very easy to get burnt out otherwise. Brennan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day. Hmm. Because I've got it transparent, it's making it hard to see the tree types now. And I'm putting the wrong trees down. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll have it like that. Because I have two different tree types. Yeah, that's the wrong tree. Yeah, they're not exactly in position either. Mm, that's weird, because when I'm zoomed in there, they are. When I'm zoomed in now, they're not. Yeah, for now, I'm not going to bother getting them in position. I'm going to just place them and do that, the positioning at the end. Okay, I think I've sorted out. Yeah, I put some over the wrong trees. That was silly, but now they're fine. Now, this is the other tree type. Hey, 
Hey, I am. How about you? I'm doing good, Brennan. We're doing some parallax mapping at the moment in um, Vogue Shop for RPG Maker, which is the software we're using for our game. And it is a big job, but it's going to be worth it because we're going to have a super pretty forest map at the end of it. And welcome to the stream. I love that that emote, that cat emote that has three eyes. It's cute. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Oh gosh, I have to do the little trees as well, not just the big ones. When I've done this, honestly, when I've done this tree business, I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to treat myself to loads of sweets and chocolate. By the way, Rose, thank you for the hair compliment you gave me. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of long hair on guys. Careless Rex knows that as well. <laughs> I was thinking about getting into game design recently, so decided to start finding people who stream it. Didn't expect it to be in the science tech category. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it was really difficult finding a category for this project, I have to admit. Um, since Twitch made the changes because normally I would have just streamed under creative but they split it up didn't they into loads of different sections and um, this was the most appropriate one really because what are the others really the other the other popular one is art but you know what I mean this is too broad a project to be to be just art and to be honest I haven't even done the art so it wouldn't be relevant I'm doing everything but the art in the game so which so game design um writing law world building I think there should be more categories I think for stuff like that we need a world building category on Twitch where we just geek out about world building that would be awesome <laughs> Treat yourself. Yeah, good pun, Rex. I think I deserve treats, don't I? You'd give me treats, Rex, wouldn't you? Well, you're creating, so creating is art, yeah. But I think it's true. What you say is true, eulogy master, but the fact is people will assume that I'm... This is my art if I stream this under art and it's not. So I'd feel like I was misleading people. <laughs> But it is true. It's a it's a fair point. Unfortunately, not everybody sees it that way. Um, pleasure as always. See you as you need to head home now. See you tomorrow. Or bye all. As thanks for hanging out, and I'm excited to put your character into the game as well. Um, still got a big a grind for for it to be there, but it's there. Your character forms filled in, and it'll be it'll be fun to to add you when the time comes. And have a good day, Azriel. I hope that it your Tuesday treats you well. I'd give you all the treats and yes, there needs to be a game dev category for sure. Yeah, I mean, sign technology, this one I'm doing is kind of, it's become that game dev. Like if you click it, you'll see all game dev people. Um, so it kind of is a game dev category. So yeah, for sure, if you want to do game dev, this is the one to stream under. Um, but I just kind of wish it was, it was, there was more. Like there's not even a writing category. I mean, what about writers? What if what if, if people were going to stream Nano Rimo this November? What would they even stream under? That's a really, you know, I think I think that that's a point. Like before, they would have streamed under Creative. I know Canon used to do writing streams, and he streamed under Creative because he did Nano Rimo. Yay! Oh my God, that's real. 177 already see what i mean you can soon get them but then again you have double raindrops because you're a sub so you will get them twice as fast if you're a sub 
Am I the only one who thinks Borden's free is exciting watching paint dry or is it me? It's very popular at the moment on Twitch. I'm one of these people that never play what's popular. I always play what everybody else loved about two or three years after it's been popular. I, I was a real fan of Borden's one though. No, I, I did actually play that to death on my Xbox back in the day when I was at college. But I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not really grab to play it I haven't felt in the mood to play the new ones I did like the first one true I could stream myself writing stories I didn't think about that yeah and I, honestly I just think it's a shame there's no category for writers because it's true Akira if you did do that what would you even stream under I wanted to stream myself reading Lovecraft short stories. Someone says my voice is soothing. I really should do that, um, Yuji Master. I know I've seen people do that on stream. They've read books. Um, I assume they'd stream under just chatting for uh, for that. Unless there's another category that I haven't considered. Oh, yeah, so we've got all these trees to do, guys. I'm going to cry. This is a job and a half. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's think of the quickest way to do this. I'm just literally plop them down. I'm not even going to get them in the right position. And I'll just do all the positioning at the end. Plop them anywhere. That's it. Hi Snowman, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Hope I'm a good day. Is Azrael your in real life name? What a cool name it'd be. <laughs> what a, what an awesome name. But um, anyone who's, who's just come into the stream today, anyone who's new and wants to know more about the project, um, you can click that link now and it'll take you to, to the social medias and the FAQ page. And you can also be a character in the game once you reach 500 raindrops, which is our stream currency. And um, these are the, the folks walking here, the little sprites walking at the bottom of the stream. These are the, the folks who are in chat today who are characters in the game. They look, they look like a, a lovely bunch, don't they? <laughs> good you, day, day good so far? Yeah, I'm glad. It's good to see you, Snowman. Exclamation mark jump. Oh yeah, I've disabled the jump thing. At the moment we currently don't have any mini games enabled, but um I need to have a good look at this um stream avatars thing and see what the, what we can do. And maybe we can do something like that. But yeah, I have disabled them for now just because I, I have no clue what the games are. But yeah, I wanna have a, a look. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Why did I put so many trees on this map and make it hard for myself? Because it wouldn't be a forest if there wasn't any, wasn't many trees, that's why. I'll tell you this though, doing a cave after this dungeon will be so much easier, won't it? A cave dungeon, that won't be hard. I say that, it probably will be. Okay, oh no, I've missed a tree out. I guess this is normal, some of the character sheets are missing in the character's Google Docs. Yes, we have to put Silent and Loss and yours there, Akira. Um, so yeah, the two new ones, and Kindled's as well when she has checked it over and says she's happy with it so there'll be three new ones going in there yeah i'm, I'm gonna do i'll be doing that i have to do that today after stream or something i'll do it now but because i'm in the groove of this tree business i'll, I'll probably just um note to go to and do that after i don't want it, anything to disturb me from the trees i promise i don't have a tree fetish Let's vote on a cave dungeon full of trees and flowers. 
<laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have nightmares about trees. Like literally. But it would work. I mean, a cave in the Everbloom Forest would have trees and flowers in, but damn, please no. It would look very pretty though. <laughs> Okay, so we've put all the big... Do you want to torture me then, Rex? This Is this true? You want me to do more work? <laughs> I'll find out the truth now. I see how it is. Okay, so all the big ones are done. We still go to the little ones. Um, but I want to merge all these trees because they're gonna look it's gonna be confusing if we have too many nails. So before we do that, I have to make sure they're in position. Oh my god, this is only one map out of four that we've got to do this on as well. So yeah, this week on stream and off stream this week this will be the focus getting the maps done um getting the mini maps done as well that's another thing and um oh god well we got two and then next week we can start something new something new and exciting which will be a combination of enemy design um and um main the first main story quest dialogue do those two things and then we have to think of the boss the first boss as well we'll, we'll have a poll for that oh my god this is a pain in the butt just snap will you <laughs> no it's not snapping pro there's got to be a way to snap these trees easily I'm forgetting which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. Admit it, guys. Would you like doing this? This tree business. Some might find it therapeutic. Who knows? All, the, all trees leaving you. <laughs> Nightmare about trees. <laughs> I lost my concentration split second because of it. Yeah, I'm going to have nightmares because of all these trees. They're haunting me. Have you considered no grid movement? What do you mean by what? Expand on this. Are you saying that there's another way I can do parallax mapping that won't involve all this? Because, I mean, I'd, I'd be up for that. But I feel like because I'm halfway through now, I might as well finish. But who knows? Who knows what White what, Watt's got in mind. For some reason I have double trees on top of each other. Pet dragons. Um, this guy here in the middle of the stream, Libel Kelix Rex with a hat on, he's a pet dragon. Well, he's not. He's a fearsome antagonist. And he's going to, uh, like, kill all humans. Trees. Hi, Cornelius. How are you doing? Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. I'm sure there's a way to snap these trees more easily, but I have no clue. I mean, the only reason we did a parallax map of this was because of the flowers, really, and then the cliff decorations. But for some maps, I'm not. We might not do parallax mapping for every single map, but only for the maps that it's necessary for. We'll see. Trees kept barking at me. That's a good pun. Are we gonna have a tree pun stream? 
feel like we should because it's become a tree stream now. I'm Rose's pet in real life. You're my pet. Oh my goodness, that makes me sound like you're my slave. <laughs> doing good, good thanks in yourself. I'm doing good, Cornelius. Just getting, getting on with the the Raindrops Chronicle project, and um, having a blast while doing it. Hey, you says you did or didn't do the art for this. I didn't, Brennan. Um, hang on, let's do the command. I'm doing everything but the art, so having the art is not something I'm doing takes a big burden off my shoulders because it can help make me fully concentrate on everything else, um, like the, the level design, um, writing, the lore, the world, the characters, the plot, the, ev the everything, <laughs> the everything basically. Everything that's required to make a game, but uh, it's a it's a collaboration thing. Like in a way, I mean, we're all we're all deciding the story together, and um, it's all varied on by Discord polls and like Discord reactions. That's exactly what I want to do. Did you pay for the art or collab? No, because the good thing about the RPG Maker community is that there's a lot of free assets online. Um, there's a forum and there's an actual section of the forum that is literally free art resources that people have that are let that people that are letting dead devs use the resources for free for free and commercial projects so it's really handy and i have had to make some art edits but it's nice to know that there's still a lot there and there's a lot of choice how do how do trees get online what what how do trees get online snowman what's the answer Oh wow, some research to do, yeah. But if you click that link, you know that where it's got forums.rpgmakerweb.com under my assets command, that's the place to go. If you go on that forum, you'll see all the resources. So that's basically what I'm using for the project. They just log in, lol. <laughs> yeah, let's have a tree pun stream. I'm hungry. I guess I need more watermelon. Watermelon's not very filling now, but that's because uh, my dinner is very soon. Holy crap, it's already six o'clock. No way. Yeah, it's nearly time for my dinner. Hang on. I can't believe it. This stream. <laughs> nearly dropped my phone. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. <laughs> I was just going to say, my goodness, this stream has gone by too fast. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm so silly. <laughs> Clip it. If someone that really wants to go out our way to do it, then they can. But I'm not going to encourage anyone to to do it. <laughs> Are you going to sell and split profits or just for fun project? It's just a for fun project. Um, it's literally just a community bonding thing. And just a way to have fun on Twitch basically with with peeps and, and bond together and write stories. But I mean, I I want to make a game. Like I I really would love to make my own game and sell it one day, but it won't be this one. Um, this will just be a free to play game and it's going to be released as episodes as well so that means there's less of a wait for you to, to get something to play you don't have to wait for, for years for the game to come out we'll hopefully have something in the next few months few, few to several months of the release the first episode it's hard to, it's hard to put a date on it because who knows, sometimes things can hold you back with game dev. 
with a release date. Instead of the characters moving from one square to the other, you can have them move much less, making it 10 times smoother, and usually makes them be able to walk down only two, and to go with it, purposely use is probably where you have to occur with Photoshop red areas where characters can't walk into I can make an example pro oh my god okay why what, what like that'll I'm intrigued by that like I'm up for anything that makes it easier of course because no lie this this is this is hard work I mean I'm not I'm not gonna say no to it because I know that it'll be worth it once the map's complete and it'll be worthwhile at all that hard work will but Obviously, there is another method I'm up for knowing about it. So, uh, send a DM. And even if we don't, I don't do that method for the Everbloom Forest, can always use it for. A, I mean, to be honest, it sounds like it. Um, I should probably use it from the start if it's something that involves walking and movement. But I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look anyway and see. See if I can get my head around and see if it's something that will be easier to do. So, yeah, for sure, let me know. How oh, cool, I've been looking for some things to do besides Tarrant streams, and this seems like a really fun thing to do on stream, actually. Awesome, Brennan. Well, it's good to meet you and have you here. Well, it's good meeting new folks, especially people that um, are having fun and like, like it here, too. I'll get to work as soon as possible. Yay! Awesome, guys. Well, it is time that I make my exit very soon. But before we do that, oh my god, what, what is the time? Yeah, it's exactly six o'clock. I'm a hungry one. What are you guys having for food today? I don't even know what my dinner is. Okay, I'm going to drop us off at someone's stream before we we head off. Oh my god, thank you for the sub just before I leave. What a nice, what a nice surprise just before I end the stream. Thank you so much, Brennan. Let's have some height, guys. September, yay! September's really good, isn't it? Well, I, pre I appreciate the sub and um, I think we should have some hype. What a nice way to end the stream. I appreciate that. And in case you're curious, oh, I've screwed up the emails. <laughs> I've screwed up the emails. In case you're curious, my schedule is Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So I am streaming again tomorrow, same time as today. Um, so yay! I will see you guys then. And obviously, I have the Twitter. I have a Twitter and I have a Discord. So that's for everybody. In case you're curious. And I want to drop us off at somebody's stream. Um, I want to start doing that more because a lot of the time I rush off. But I would like to drop us off at people's streams. That would be great. Only thing is like, I just don't know what we should go into people's streams saying. Because sometimes, I mean, we have the raid, Command Rose, raid, blood. But sometimes, you know, sometimes it's nice to go into someone's stream quietly. Without making it a loud scene. But I don't know. I, I, What do you guys think? We can do the Rose Rabler. But we can just go in and say hi. But um, today we've got a friend called Mia Bite. She's a, she's a friend of the stream. So we can go and say hi to her. And she's playing Warframe. So, Wolverine was a game I used to play loads. I played it solid for a month and then I gave up and never played it again. But it was good at the time. But I got really burnt out. But me, me, me is a Warframe partner and she, she loves Warframe. She also, she also plays Final Fantasy XIV too. Um, and she's a, she's a good friend and a nice person. So, Mia is so cool. She is. She's a sweetheart. Rainstorming coming. Yay. So, guys, you can copy the Rose Raid blood if you like. Or you can also just go in and say hi. Um, and, you know, whatever you want to do. So, exclamation. No, I forgot the raid command. What is it now? Yeah, I think that's it. So, I'll say my goodbyes here, guys. And uh, let's go say hi to Mia. 
and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. I'll miss you all. Thanks for the awesome stream.